look up. Just start that. That could be like my intro. Oh my god, there's a feather up there. Oh, it's floating away. Okay, we are not high. Seriously, <laughs> we do not go to these cons high ever. Okay, uh, yeah. so sometimes, whoa, on sugar, right? Because we like those Japanese treats. <laughs> that was sick. That was close of you guys. Oh, that was so cool. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. good. You have energy. Yeah. Take over my energy, right? I okay. mean, you've been doing a lot. I'll give you some yeah. power. <laughs> it's like how my hammer had into like right into ah, fusion yeah. energy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. will beat that out for the con. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. But I'll leave that in for the channel, so it's fine. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> French doors, yes. Yeah. I know there's really crappy live action ones. I'm not gonna name any yeah. Dragon Ball Z, yeah. but um, there's some crappy, yeah. Mm, yeah. Just like Winnie the Pooh, that was really bad actually. I don't know. Who. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think, have you seen the Winnie the Pooh trailer? No. I've seen the trailer for it and it's kind of scary. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. I'm just like, it took all the cute out and it's just kind of <laughs> creepy <laughs> now. I, I think yeah. if they did a Pokemon one, I wouldn't mind it to look like Space Jam. Yeah. yeah. Right? I think that would be yeah. kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. just keep that it's not realistic. Yeah. Not yeah. Realistic. But it's it has to pretend. be directed by Quentin <laughs> Tarantino. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes, boy, yes. Oh, Seattle, okay. Yeah. You've been to Seattle. Yeah. Yes. Cons and stuff like that. Yeah. Have you been overseas cons or no? Uh, no. This is my first overseas con. Oh, so I mean, well. sorry, it's not overseas. Well, international oh, oh, con. In international. You crossed the border there, right? That's right. What were you dressed for the first time? Like? It was Nightcrawler from X-Men. Oh, so And uh, Haunter from Pokemon. And uh, Spider-Man the first year. I was Espeon from Pokemon and X-23 from X-Men and then spider Gwenum. Did you start cosplaying all the way through it? Yeah, it was my very first con here when this started. I did uh, a Shizuo cosplay just because I had the clothes. He just looks like a bartender. Mm. So I had those clothes like, ah, I can do this. And then the following year I made a sign. The following year I made a better sign, so realistic that they weren't going to let me on the bus to get here until I convinced them that yes, it is cardboard and they thought it was then one year I was like, I want to try and make something really crazy. So like, what can I test myself? I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. I was like, I'm gonna make a dragoon. So I, I did. What brings you here? I think all of us sort of just wanted to like actually get out and do a con. It was the first time a con was close enough for me at least. Yeah. Oh, I was just, like, you know, I'm in Victoria, so it's like, yeah. It was such a close. I was like, I have to go, right? Like they're always on the East Coast or in the States. Oh, but yeah, I was yeah. like, I had to go. They're so close. There's no cons in Victoria? There, th there's smaller ones, yeah. But this was the first like big con, I guess, right? Like, because yeah, like any rep was pretty big. Cool. You got all four of you guys coming out. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what started you like into anime? Our mom was super into anime for the longest time. So she used to have all the VHSs of like the old card cap, the really crappy four kids dub. And that's what we grew up with. So we didn't grow up with like Teletubbies and Blues Clues. We grew up with card captors, Digimon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball for the longest okay. time. Uh, how long did it take you to make this costume? You made it. Yeah, wait, like three months. Three months, oh wow. Yeah, every night, yeah. Foam? <laughs> yeah, it's made from the foam. Okay, yeah. and then is that wood for the sword or foam? No, all it's foam. all foam. All foam, wow. Yeah, everything is foam. Uh, it's lighter, I'm assuming, foam. Yeah, it is lighter. Yeah. It's all custom? Yeah, I, I made it all. Well, I started planning this in January. I 3D model these pieces here. It's been a slow crawl since then. It's got even the, all the way to the bottom, right? All the way to the bottom. All the way to the... The soles of the shoe have detail. Okay, how long exactly? Six months. Six months? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's made. I don't think you buy it. Yeah, that. You guys, yeah. It's not on Amazon. That's yeah, for sure. the dragon alone took about 50 hours or more. Um, and then everything else was probably like 30 hours, I would say. So altogether, about 70, 70 plus hours. Those are hours. all single. Yeah, I cut them all out hand with by hand with an X Acto Ooh. knife. <laughs> there's throughout the whole costume, there's 2,500 scales. <laughs> She counted them too. Wow. <laughs> Definitely not as long as hers. Mine was a lot easier. This is all just made of foam. So is this. Yeah. Not 2,000 pieces, but... That's detailed yeah. for sure. Yeah. It was so cool watching him make that. So many layers of stuff. Yeah. Working hard because there was a time I was between school, three, four months. All foam, right? Thermoplast, so warbler, foam, and a bit of plastic. It was maybe about two months of work. Every day after work for about six hours. All I foam. That's all foam. Yeah. Like completely inside foam. foam. Yeah. Wow. Super lightweight, easy to carry around, it's not too heavy. Good weapon, just in case. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And when you gotta beat people with your meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two of them. Turn, turn, yeah. turn. Yeah. That's piece of meat. So good. Actual one when I finish this. Well, it took about a month to set up, and then a week of non-stop work to get it all in time. Just like rushed it. Oh yeah. Okay. Constantly going. Can you hummer sing your favorite anime opening theme song? Ding, ding. Oh, no, I got the <laughs> <laughs> What? 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 
Uh, you got to get it going in my head. I lost it again, too. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. King of Fate, just because I'm on my anime. This is a play. No, I'm going to find one. Why are you doing that? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. what's. What has been your favorite part? It's just mostly going to the panels. Lining up and uh, meeting all these people that are also like going to these panels yeah. and enjoying a time with them. Usually the improvs are really good ones to go to. Oh, yeah, those are And fun. the walk off. The walk off? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep in touch. I will be in one one year. I'm going to be coming in. I want to see that. Sorry, this is taking so long here. Oh, you, you can cut some of this, I, right? I got a post. Yeah, this is going to be post. Any other cosplays that you've seen today that's really kick ass? Oh, well, I saw Hector. He's probably still down there somewhere. Oh. Yeah, he is around there. It's not a lot. Like, one of the ones I really like seeing was uh, Toru with uh, Kana oh. from Kobayashi. He's, he's really asked, he's not asked this question. I will. Skip, not I will it, do this. I will it. do this. We had one person skip this question. I do not want to skip this. He's going to use his data for this. There are many fans. Many, many, many fans. Oh, yeah. The walls just keep coming. Yep. And it gets echoes everywhere. <laughs> How'd you keep that rolls in your mouth the whole entire time? Well, eventually my mouth just goes numb. I forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> when your mouth goes numb, it helps your character voice. Yeah, I know, I know you actually know. Easier to do the character voice than a normal voice in this now. <laughs> oh no, do work. Go back, go back, go back. He is definitely. Should we cut this and then wait till it loads and come back in? Yeah. Let's do that. Are anime fans geeks or nerds? Sort of a yes. trick question. Yes. 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 I, I like that. Yes, that was a good answer, actually. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a positive. Yeah, no, I, I think he gave you the best answer. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like, the best answer. Geeks, nerds, nerds. I feel nerds. A geek is like technology, kind of more related. I feel like a nerd is someone who's super into one super thing. Into it. it doesn't matter what that thing is, but like that person's super into it. That's how I see it. Both. 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 Definitely both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Because yeah. I'd yeah. say they're nerdy yeah. about their fandom, but it's really <laughs> geeky. Like cosplaying and the whole anime con and everything is super geeky. Okay. Add Dork in there, maybe? Dor yeah, Dork yeah, is yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Dorky's cool. Dorky's kind of like in there. <laughs> Dorky's like cute and cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. to a certain point. Yeah. 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 True, oh. To a certain point. <laughs> There's a lot of things to a certain point. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Everything's good in moderation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how I like ice cream so much. Or oh alcohol. my god. I should stand this or way. Oh, this way. Yeah. I'm standing straight onto yeah. the camera for a reason. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing this angle thing for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. See, I've heard people try and tell me which one is which. What is your okay. description of which? What geek is a geek and what is a nerd? nerd? I think, okay, for me, according to like online Google searching, right? Okay. Nerds are like super into something to a point where it becomes their life. All right. A geek is super into something, but it doesn't become their life. It, it just, it just okay. represents them. It just All represents right. them in a certain degree. I think that's, that's, for, right. that's for me personally. Okay. Yeah, for me, I guess, I guess it's closer to being a geek. At the same time, I think everyone is a geek with something. Like oh, cars. Absolutely. You're a geek yeah, yeah, with cool, cars. You're a geek with sports. I mean, that absolutely. word goes to anything. But otaku is just probably the best kind of thing. And then weeb, because it's just a fun thing. You're not seriously an actual weeb. You yeah. just use it because it's funny. And then that's the whole half the culture is you make fun of the tropes but you enjoy it so I guess it falls more into the geek oh, yeah. than the nerd because I, I think you do have like animes that you follow dearly like that you like the most and you can sort of become a nerd about that anime oh yeah right but be geek about other animes oh yeah right? just yeah. in general so, yeah because yeah. so you just enjoy it you know you're going to enjoy it I say they're geeks so they're geeks yeah why uh, because geek to me is the obsession over one particular thing whereas nerd usually implies proficiency in math and science so have you been called a geek or nerd? Both, because I'm both. both. <laughs> That's a good combination. I yeah. Think. There was a distinction between them. I can't remember now. I'm gonna say nerds. Nerds? Have yeah. You, have you been referred to that? No. I like to proudly group myself in with the nerds, though. All the people who are like pop culture savvy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Further to a weeb. Weeb. <laughs> but that's me just personally calling myself because I definitely am. But I'd say neither. neither. We're just fans of anything, you know. Just like you know, can you call a car fan a geek or a nerd? I guess yeah. depends. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been called a geek or a nerd? We'll say a weeb. A weeb. Okay. A weeb usually my friends. Weeb. Everyone. Yep. yep. Okay. That's the usual one. Would you ever date someone that's not interested in anime? Definitely. Yeah. If I could somehow convince me to get into anime, then definitely. Yeah. But if not, then that's fine as well. Okay. Would you ever date someone that doesn't like anime? How shallow uh. is it to say no? <laughs> <laughs> That's not shallow. It's like a personal interest, right? That's not yeah. to do with their looks. I, I think I would. You yeah. think you would? Okay. I think that um, being too similar to someone is not good. A, uh, actually a bad thing. So. Okay. Or more than anime, I think my deal breaker would be if they don't play video games. Listen. I can deal with no anime, but if you don't play video games on top of that, like... You're cut. 
But but next. I think personally, since I don't mind very much, I wouldn't mind if whatever they like. Whatever they like. Yeah. As long as they like something. Yeah. And have some as kind long of hobby. as they have interest. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And not do yeah. nothing yeah. at home, right? Same as her. Same. I would, but I feel like the shared interest is pretty important. We're dating each other, so. Yeah, we, we don't actually watch a lot of anime. Yeah. We watch, like, the basics. Like, yeah. we got that. But you guys are involved in cosplay with each other, so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if he didn't cosplay. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It'd be a bit easier for her. I'd just be the handle. Yeah, all exactly. The time, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you could be your Instagram boyfriend, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> picture, picture here! Yeah. Yeah. Just for all the viewers out there, this is one of my favorite, favorite guys here. It's hilarious. We filmed him last year in our uh, raiding video where we're zapping everybody. We zapped him. Just watch it. It's freaking yeah. hilarious. So where's your full costume? Like, uh, My mother gave me an ultimatum this weekend. It's interesting. If I wear it this weekend, I'm disowned. Oh! Ouch. I don't know if it's a joke or a legitimate thing, so... You don't want to call that. Mm -mm. Yeah, you don't mm -mm. want to know. You don't want to know. Your mom's when they give you an ultimatum? Oh, hell no. You don't want to go against it. No. But there could be some surprises tonight, though. I'm oh, not competing, but uh, I am judging at the cosplay swimsuit contest. Oh, snap. He was hilarious on the dating thing yesterday. It was so funny. <laughs> How many times have you been in this con? Um, since year... Wario is God. Wario is God. Oh, what's up? How you doing? How's it going? Yeah, How you doing? Doing okay. You guys doing doing good? You might as well join. You just come here. Get in here. Get in here, here, get in here buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I drove yeah, all the way yeah. from Connor for this, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 man. My boys. It's like reunited here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's, all, it's all Asia here, but it's slightly different Asia. But still Asia. <laughs> yeah, right? you're being surrounded by the uh, Orientals. Orientals. <laughs> That's right. A lot of clothing yeah. today. What's going on? Oh, yeah, oh, I yeah, didn't yeah. tell you about Ultimatum. My mother gave me one. If I wore it this weekend, I'm disowned. That's what you said last year, is it? Oh, no, not no. this one. This is like a this is this serious. Is legit? Yeah. Is it make or break? It's yeah. make or break. Okay. But yeah. I am going to be at the cosplay swimsuit contest as a judge, not a competitor, because I want people to have a chance um, to win. I want them to shine without me ha I'm being there. It's true. It's true. He does take the uh, stage center. Yeah. It's more of a glisten rather than a shine, right? That like or, a ham. Or that Glazed one hell of a ham. glare. <laughs> All right. I asked before you came in here, yeah. uh, first time at the con? Uh, obviously not, but... First year at the con was actually 2005. Oh! Uh, back when uh, Anime Evolution was at Simon Fraser. Oh, how old were you then? 12? Oh, good question, asshole. <laughs> okay. <job. laughs> it's okay, it's three, it's three years since uh, 2015, minus 10, I would have been 16. Oh, okay. Oh. Still legal in some places. What, yeah. What, what places are those? Legal for drinking. What are you talking about? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> what were you guys thinking about? I didn't think anything. <laughs> well, I thought of thinking. something. <laughs> okay, hey, how about this? Your first ever anime you ever, ever watched. Oh. Ever, ever. Oh, toughy there. Oh, no. Samurai Pizza Cat. No, Ninja Scroll when I was three. Oh, Ninja Scroll, yeah. I live in a duplex, uh, so my landlord's upstairs. Game personal here. Their kids were watching Ninja Scroll. I just wanted to play with the neighbors, so I went upstairs and was like, let's play, let's play. Oh, what's this? All right, I'm sitting down. Little did I know it was Ninja Scroll. It was where that bit to where uh, Kagero, the female uh, um, protagonist, was being raped by the golem, the rock man. Okay. And yes. I'm thinking- Memorable moment. Yeah. Yes. Memorable moment. Defining moment. I didn't know what it was, but afterwards, I'm thinking to myself, why is there some stick in that guy's eye? Why is that rock guy turning into a rock? Why does that <laughs> rock guy have his own sword in his head? Why is a rock man's head sliding down the blade? <laughs> oh, this is when you were young? Holy cow. I didn't know better. Is that what started you watching anime, or did you watch more after that? You obviously liked it. Yeah, um, it got a little bit more interesting when I was nine. Like Sailor Moon's fine, stuff we had on YTV. That's, that's yeah, PG-13. Maybe younger, it was like everyone. Yeah. Anyways, I was just sleeping over at my grandmother's place. My uncle let me watch some DVDs and I saw an anime on there and I'm thinking, huh, this looks interesting. It was Agent Ica. Again, a lot of nudity, a lot of fighting, lesbian kind of thing. It was like, huh, first Ninja Scroll and now this. Got better. My mind has gone warped throughout the years, <laughs> and I wasn't aware of puberty when I was nine, and I think when I reached it, it was like, oh, that's what it is, okay. And today, this is what shaped him. So he this is, is a now. man now. This is a man now. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. Sandals, poo t-shirt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Mario hat. Yeah. Looking yeah. good, bud. Clean you off there. Looking good. Yeah. That's you good. working out? <laughs> nope. Uh, lower? Higher or lower? I don't even exercise. <laughs> question number, I don't know what question number we're on. Okay, how long is this going to go on? Should oh. I leave? It's going to ruin continuity. Yeah, actually, this doesn't matter. Okay, fair I enough. I can tell you all, like, all right, watch. Disappearing act. Three, two, one. Which one would you like to see made into live action? That's too tough. Cowboy Bebop, number one. Number one. But, I don't know. What's your opinion on this one? Keanu Reeves as Spike. I heard he wants to be Spike in the live I, action. I would watch anything Keanu Reeves if he's the main character. <laughs> He'd be Sailor Moon main character and I would watch it. So the reason why I, was, I thought about this, because there's a thing on YouTube called Watch Mojo. Celebrities that are anime fans and Keanu Reeves is one of them. They actually said it in the video that he wanted to be Spike and Cowboy Bebop whenever there's going to be a live action movie. Could you sing or hum your favorite anime opening? Let the vocals come out here. Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, yo, go. I, I, I'm going to cheer you on. We're all gonna cherry on, even the camera guy. There's just way too many damn songs, you know that. Just one, just give me one. Give me like the chorus of one. Like, what's been running in your head at the moment? Anything that's not Japanese. <laughs> I've been walking around with a speaker being the jukebox. Oh, you know, give us a little, little bit? <sighs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's got, he's got vocals. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> hey YouTube, we're at Anime Revolution 2018. I'm not too sure why I'm looking at the ground here. It makes no sense, but it's cool. It looks cool. Hey YouTube, we're at Anime Revolution 2018. We're gonna ask a bunch of people a bunch of questions. This is Vancouver Talks. It's gonna be lit. Solid.